I heard MQA for the first time actually right here at the bakery when Bob Stewart, the founder of MQA, was visiting. Professionally, the most important part about MQA is the A, which is authentication. And that'll promise that what we approve here in the studio with the artist is exactly what's delivered to their fan listening to the track at home. I think many of the artists that I get to work with, especially the ones who really value working in a high resolution domain, are really gonna be excited, really gonna be excited to master records in high res and have that as their main album and be able to deliver that to their fans as such. So for us as the production team, MQA is a one file format. It takes away any questions of doubt for the artist. The impact for the listener is to know that MQA is authenticated by the artist, that the artist is putting the seal of approval on the file format, that we're creating it here in the mastering room. We felt very lost over a number of years with digital audio and this gives us control of it. MQA has a very uh, good balance between uh, quality sound and a very low bit rate. So it's a very uh, informative for the real-time streaming or uh, the internet delivery. MQA has a very fast impulse response. It has a very key function of the music. Hope that every quality music lovers uh, enjoys MQA sound. Thanks, Bob. There's so many aspects about MQA. One is the processing tools that we can use in production and actually achieve a better sounding result in our masters. But most important is that we have an assurance of how it's gonna play back in the other end. That's something we haven't had before. What I experienced with MQA was that detailed focus on the small things that over time accumulate into a very, very emotional experience. <laughs>